Hello YouTube, Dave here again today. I'm going to be unboxing and having my first look through of the Elder Scrolls Call to Arms Tabletop Battles uh, in the world of Tamriel. Uh, this is a core rules product that I just recently picked up. I had never heard of this uh, prior to today. Um, the, the day that I'm recording this is the same day that I picked this up. Uh, truth be told, this was a complete and total impulse buy situation. Uh, I was originally going to like pick up maybe a booster of like the the D and D or Pathfinder minis, uh, but this just looked a little too interesting to completely uh, pass up. Now the retail price that I paid for this was fifty nine ninety nine uh, Canadian. Uh, the U S price is probably between forty five to fifty dollars. Like um, I would I would assume there's no U S MSRP or anything on the back, uh, but it still looks like so it looks interesting uh, by Bethesda. And Modifus, uh, Modifus Fuse, I don't know how you pronounce that properly, so I apologize. Um, but they're the ones that did Star Trek Adventures, and I've really been enjoying looking through their core rulebook for that, as well as the starter set that I had picked up for it. So I suspect that this is going to be a very good quality product, just based off of my experiences with the company already. On the, the sides here, they show some different uh, miniatures, which you can purchase separately. Unfortunately, none of the minis are included. Uh, you got like the Dragonborn there. Uh, none, none of the minis are included in the the set. I, I kind of wish they would have at least had one in here, but it is what it is. Uh, so what it says on the back is the Elder Scrolls Call to Arms. Uh, it is the time of the Dragonborn. Uh, battle rages across the forest, plains, and mountains of Skyrim. So yeah, it's definitely set in Skyrim. As Imperials and Stormcloaks fight for supremacy in ancient burrows, the restless dead rise from their sleep. Skeletons and fearsome Draugr jealously guard their treasures from bands of delving adventurers. Oh, sorry, from the from bands of delving adventurers. Should have been, I think that should be adventurers, but... Uh, the Elder Scrolls Cult Arms is an adventure war game uh, set in the world of Tamriel. Uh, gather your heroes and venture into Draugr haunted tombs and ruins, search for treasure and glory, or fight the civil war as the Stormcloaks uh, and Imperials battle for the future of Skyrim. This core set contains everything you need for exciting solo, which might be fun to do, uh, and cooperative delves or two-player battles uh, with AI adversaries hindering both players. So it looks like you can actually play it um, like two players just against, um, like, a uh, not AI, but like a scripted uh, opponent, which seems like it might be actually kind of cool. Uh, this is backed up by extensive online content at uh, modifist.com slash Elder Scrolls. I'll have to check that out um, after I finish recording, allowing you to take the game even further and conquer Skyrim for your faction. Begin your adventures in Tamriel with this essential box set containing the full rules of the Elder Scrolls called Arms Plus Dice, cards, and tokens. Uh, the contents are five hero cards, 13 follower and adversary cards, six faction reference cards, more than 200 quest events, traps, items, and spell cards, uh, one white skill dice, which looks like a 20-sided die, uh, three green accuracy dice, three black, three red, and three yellow effect dice, uh, two die-cut uh, counter sheets, 104-page uh, complete core rulebook, quest book with 12 missions, Escape from Helgen Quick Start Guide, which I assume is probably going to be a solo game. Uh, and it says that miniatures are sold separately. Uh, it says that it takes about one to two hours to play. Uh, it's one or one and two plus player modes. And uh, the recommended age is 14 and up. So, yeah, like I said, this looks really interesting. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this open and we'll take a look at the inside of the box. So this is strictly going to be uh, an unboxing video because I, I, like I said, I didn't know anything about this uh, prior to uh, today. So I don't know the system at all. And, uh, but, you know, eventually I will be able to do a review and probably even some solo play, which might be uh, kind of cool to do just to uh, get more use out of it. Because <laughs> I probably won't get a ton of use. Uh, just like the way things are right now, especially right now. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead there. And I guess I never really noticed it, but I kind of like the, it's got like the dragon scale texture. 
well, not texture, but uh, design, which I didn't really pick up through the cellophane, so that's kind of neat. So here we go. There. All right, so Escape from Helgen. This is the quick start guide. So like I said, I'm going to assume that there, this might actually just be, this might actually just be the, uh, just the, the, uh, like basic rules, uh, sort of thing, but it'll be interesting to go through that. So I'm not going to do that, like I said, in this video, uh, but I do, I love the, I love the, uh, the artwork there. I think that looks really, really cool. So we've got that. Then we've got the quest book. So again, just all the information that you're going to need there, which I'll understand better when I have a chance to actually read through uh, the rules. And then we've got the rule book. And the thing I like about the rule book is that it's not just staple bound like the other two books. This has actually got uh, its own binding on it. It's the, the spine, it actually has a spine that says the Elder Scrolls uh, Call to Arms rule book. So that's really, really cool. Uh, you know, full color, again, beautiful artwork. Um, or design to it. Uh, actually, it looks like he uses a lot of the minis, which I think is kind of cool um, to, to do stuff with. Um, this almost honestly kind of puts me in the mind, and I know it's probably way off, um, but just seeing like the uh, the diagrams and stuff, it kind of reminds me of Chainmail, <laughs> uh, which was an awesome game. Uh, so yeah, so it'll be fun to to read through that and see how to play this game. And like I said, eventually. Uh, do at least one or two solo adventures. Then we've got our tokens. So we got two sheets of tokens there. And then we've got... How oh, does it come with... Ah, uh, I like this. Okay. So it actually comes with a bag of baggies um, for your tokens and everything. So that is pretty cool. Um, some games will come with like Ziploc bags, some won't. And uh, But this one actually comes <laughs> with a bag full of Ziploc bags for you to separate and organize all of your uh, counters and tokens and everything else with. So that is pretty awesome. Then we've got our different cards here. So this is an event card. Uh, I'm not going to open them up uh, in this particular video, but this is the stack, so they're kind of like the smaller uh, size cards. But this one here just says webs. Uh, choose one standing player uh, model, yours or an opponent's. The next time that model is activated, it must pass a strength attribute test or be unable to move. So that's pretty cool there. So there's our events. Uh, we got some more events, actually. So it looks like maybe some of the abilities are also going to be bundled in. And then we got spells. And then we got the adversary card. So I'm not going to spoil any of those here either in this video. I'll wait until I actually get a chance to, uh, um, to, to do like a solo play or get to my review. So here we have the dice. Now, this is something that ordinarily I would be kind of annoyed with, um, that the dice come in the sealed bag that you have to rip open in order to, to use, but they did already give us a ton of Ziploc bags. So I'm actually going to go through this. I will open up and we will take a look at here. And just for good measure, I will get one of these Ziploc bags out to use to put the dice in later. Looks like they're all the same size too for the uh, for the bags, which is which is great. So I can just put these ones back in. So let's take a look here. So we'll start with the yellow dice. So we have like the I'm assuming I think that's the Dragonborn helmet. Whoops, I think that's like the Dragonborn helmet uh, symbol there. Again, I'll be able to understand these a little bit better. We have a blank side as well. So that's what those ones have. I'm going to assume that the the different colors are probably different levels of skill. So I feel like the yellow might be the lowest level skills because there's a lot of these like one uh, symbols on there. 
Uh, but then we've got the, we'll go with the red dice next, I guess. So with the red die, we've got three of these. I'm, I wonder if these are like hit counters or there's the cross swords, the oblivion symbol, and the dragonborn symbol there. So we got all of that. On that one, no blank sides on this die. And then we've got the three black dice, which again has the, the, the dragonborn helmet. Looks pretty similar to the other one, but we've got the two symbols there with the uh, oblivion gate or oblivion symbol. Let me just see if I can find what those symbols mean. And maybe looking through the quick start rules. Yeah, let's take a look through the uh, the quick start rules because that might make it a little bit easier. Because I'm kind of curious what those, like if they're like success uh, symbols or failure symbols, I just have no idea. Exploration, making an attack. So the yellow effect dice. Uh, in addition to the green actress dice, which we'll look at in a second here. Oh, I was hoping it would tell you. I'll have to... Oh, here we go. So yeah, so it's a success. Uh, so adds damage or successes. Uh, then we've got the accuracy die, which gives you like minus one, minus two, minus three. Then we've got minus one with the dragonborn skull symbol. And did I see an Oblivion Gate? I don't think I did. No, so that's what we got there. Uh, so the skill bonus increases chances of success from a test. So the numbers must be, um, the negative signs must have to do with the difficulty, lowering the difficulty. And then the Sword, Oblivion Gate, or the Dragonborn uh, are special effects. Trigger one special effect. These icons are primarily used to trigger specific effects awarded by special rules and perks. Uh, for those marked on weapons, armor, spells, so yeah, okay, so that's so that's what they are. So the these little uh, symbols here are successes. So having the the blank die there, I guess, makes sense. Uh, and then we have our twenty sided die. It's kind of a smaller one. It was smaller than I thought it was when I saw it in the bag, uh, but it's got a bunch of different things there that I'll have to to read up on. So we got that, and then we've got. Our characters, uh, the character cards do come in an actual resealable uh, package, which is cool. So we'll take we'll take them out here. Can't be the Skyrim. Okay, I just want to see if these are different. Abilities, but we've got the two different cards here. Oh, they may not be different abilities. They may be the exact same uh, But they have the different colors to determine which uh, I don't know how well the, the difference in the colors are going to show. This is more of a gray. This is sort of more of a cream color um, So we got the Dragonborn Champion of Skyrim. Uh, the race is Nord. The path is Might. Uh, perks are uh, Armsman Conditioning uh, Dual Savagery Intimidation Treasure Hunter, Keywords, Dragon Shout, Frost Resistance, uh, a special ability, uh, Banish the Wicked. So the Dragonborn adds a green die and a yellow die uh, to all attacks performed against models of the Daedra, Undead, Vampire, or Werewolf races. So it got five health, four stamina, four magic, uh, two height, I don't know what that means, and cost. Oh, there is a difference. Okay, so the cost here is blank. Uh, but on this side, it actually is filled in. So maybe this is the companion side. Again, I'll have to look more into this uh, to see what we have. But there you've got the Dragonborn. Then we have uh, Rolf, Warrior of the Resistance. I want to say he's the one from the tutorial section in Skyrim for the, uh, the Resistance. So he's Nord, Path of Shadow, Perks, Fighting Stance, Ranger, Steady Hand. Uh, special ability, Vanguard Boost. Uh, so when he performs the With Me command action, he may target up to two additional models uh, after the first at a cost of one stamina point per model. 
Oh, and they don't have special abilities on the other side. Oh, he doesn't have special abilities. Okay, so the Dragonborn has a special ability on both sides. Um, so yeah, one of them must be Companion because he's not as good. He only adds the yellow die on the one side of the card. Anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll have to look more uh, into that. So then we have uh, Yasarald, Thrice Pierced, Stormcloak Commander. Uh, so he's a Nord as well. Are these all Nords? Yeah, I think these are all Nords. Uh, that's fine, though. Uh, like I said, there's probably going to be expansions and stuff that you can get as well. Uh, so yeah, so he's got Critical Charge, Intimidation, Windwalker. Uh, the Strong Survive, uh, Faction Followers within 3 inches. Uh, reduced the stamina point cost of their power attacks by minus one points. So that's pretty cool. Five health, four stamina. Uh, zero magic, two height. Uh, so yeah, like I said, it'll be interesting to see sort of what all this is. Then we have the Imperial Mage. Uh, so Imperial, oh, Brace Imperial, so this one's not a Nord. Uh, Path Sorcery, uh, dis and Perks Destruction Mastery, Evocation Impact. Imperial Luck. And then we have a Hadvar, Hero of Helgen, uh, Nord, Path Might, Perks Persuasion, Sword of Board, uh, uh, Tower of Strength, Keywords Frost Resistance, and then Hold Your Ground if he's within three, action, uh, three inches of the objective. Uh, he and friendly Imperial Faction followers within three inches may reroll their armor rating. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I guess on the side, I never even uh, paid attention to this. So you got Strength, uh, agility, endurance, intelligence, and wisdom as well. And then some other symbols there, which again, I will try to uh, look up on and find out a little bit more about it. But this is just something that it just looks super cool. And uh, like I said, I, I really enjoy Skyrim. So I, you know, and this again looks like a, uh, it, just looking through the book, it kind of reminds me of like Chainmail or uh, even D&D minis, I guess you could say, back in the day, but it really gives me kind of a chainmail vibe. And I'm looking forward to, to giving this a try and uh, learning more about it. So uh, expect in the next couple of weeks, because um, the, the next week or so I, I have stuff planned out um, that fills up most of my time. Uh, but in the next couple of weeks, expect there to be a proper review, an explanation of how to play, and uh, maybe even a solo adventure just to, for something to do. So anyway, uh, if any of you ha are watching this, have actually picked this up and have played the game, or there's any pointers that you can possibly give me, uh, please you know let me know about that in the comments. Um, but this looks like it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to go through. So I'm glad I picked it up, and uh, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care.